we have four freezers in our house here and they are all packed full of stuff and we're desperate for the space uh, because we've got crops coming in and it's pointless having all that food sitting in the freezer if it's not going to be used up. So, uh, yesterday I took out of the freezer some game and we've got absolutely loads of game in the freezers uh, but this has now defrosted so we've got in here a couple of pheasants some pigeon breasts and a partridge no pear trees and what that's going to be used for is to make some game soup but in this video what we're going to do is show you how to make game pie last night I boiled up a pheasant and a duck and in this pan we have uh, lamb bones and uh, I think we've got some a couple of pigs trotters in there as well so this is to get the gelatine and stock to go in the pie as well. Now I've stripped the meat from the carcasses into a bowl and we're going to add five chopped apples and these are uh, uh, pigeon breasts uh, which I've chopped. It's, this is raw so these go in together along with this. It's just to give us a sort of slightly sweet edge. This is red currant jelly. It's not set as well as I would like it to have done. It can still be used as a sort of thick syrupy jelly uh, but we think it'll go well in the pie. And then give that a good stir. Next job is to make the pastry and we're going to use hot water crust pastry in this recipe. So you need to add 220 grams of lard to a pan of 560 mils of water. So apply heat and bring to the boil. Into a mixing bowl put a kilo of plain flour and then add in four teaspoonfuls of salt. So transfer the flour into a, a larger mixing bowl because I need a larger mixing bowl. Uh, sadly uh, I'm running out of uh, mixing bowls at the minute so I've had to dust down one of my old slightly cracked ones. Anyway the water and lard is now boiled so I'm going to just gradually mix this in to make the pastry. pastry now made up what I'm going to do is just put a plate over it and leave it to stand in a cool room for about half an hour. The pastry has been standing for about half an hour now and it's still nice and warm so we're going to roll it out and line the baking tin. That's one of two baking tins we've lined so we're now ready to put the filling in. As you can see with this larger tin we've added some sausage meat to it. It was from uh, our last pig and uh, it had been sitting in the freezer for ages so we decided it was uh, time to uh, use it up so we made that the base and uh, I'll just add in the, uh, the contents now I think we weren't quite expecting to make two, uh, so we may have to just top this one up, uh, this smaller one up with apple, um, extra apple to go into it. This is the stock we made overnight from the lamb bones and the pig's trotters. Now, particularly with the pig's trotters, that means that there's going to be some gelatine in there. So we're going to ladle a little bit of that into the pie. Two pies done. This one we've given a fancy letters work to the top of it because this one is going in the bow show tomorrow. But the pies will have about 45 minutes in the oven at 180 degrees centigrade. At that point we'll check them and uh, if necessary they might need a few minutes more. After 45 minutes in the oven we checked the pies and I decided that they needed a little bit longer so we gave them another 
20 minutes or so and after that I checked them and decided that they were nearly done but I turned the temperature down to 150 degrees and just left them in the oven for another 15 minutes. This is the result. Now we could leave it at that uh, but we're going to add one little extra to it which is this. I should just put the pie down. This is some lamb stock uh, and it's got gelatine in and it's really the gelatine that we're after, uh, the, the, sort of the jelly bit of it. Uh, so we're going to heat that up and then add it to the pies. So as you can see the stock has now liquefied and boiled and also on the pies you can see we put a little hole there and there because what we're going to do is funnel in the liquid. We don't need the solids, uh, but we're just going to funnel in some of the liquid. This will get absorbed by the meat in the pie. Uh, I don't want to overload it, but uh, it'll, get, it'll give that sort of jelly type texture to the pie as well. This morning we entered our game pie into the bow show. And I'm delighted to say that not only have we won first prize in the pie making section, we have also got a best exhibit in the produce section as well, in fact the best exhibit, so rather pleased with that. Towards the end of the show when I went to uh, retrieve my exhibits and uh, got my winning rosette, I uh, discovered that uh, winning the best exhibit in the produce section comes with a trophy as well. So um, a trophy that was actually donated to the show in 1963. Trouble is I've got to give it back in a year's time. <laughs>